children and around the country that have been created to divide us. That's what they're about. Division. Division is not the game we play if we're smart and if we're clever and if we're awake. We don't play the games of the powerful. And those are the games of the powerful. Tommy Robinson is controlled. Reform is controlled. Nigel Farage is controlled. These people are being used, this is the truth, being used to divide you. Which is why what Fiona's done here today is fantastic. It's about us all coming together, regardless of the colour of your skin, regardless of your religion, whether you're a Muslim, whether you're a Jew, whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Buddhist, whether you're atheist, it does not matter Yay. because we are absolutely we are all human beings and you know what we all came together here for three or four years ago was to fight for our freedom Yay. Yay. and we have lost focus we have been playing their games stop playing their games division divide and rule is the classic game they've used for thousands of years on us we need to do better. Stop falling for their games. Stop reacting to their games. When they put things in the newspapers, and nobody here is saying there's not an issue with immigration that we need to discuss ra rationally, but when they fill the Sun newspaper, the Daily Mail, all of the papers with pictures of votes, it's to get a reaction from you. Be smart. Stand back from it all, look at the bigger picture. Because do you know what the bigger picture really is? It's not really actually about taking your freedoms away. It's not bigger than that. And you know what it is. And we have to face it. I'm sorry if I'm not speaking so loudly as I do normally today. I've got a bit of popping off. But the bigger agenda is war. They are taking us into a big, big war. And to do that, they've got to shut you up. You can't go to war with people dissenting. You can't go to war with people questioning. You can't go to war with people rallying here in Westminster. So they're going to take our freedom of speech away. Our freedom to protest, they're already doing it. Our freedom of movement is essential to go into war. They're taking it all away. But are we going to tolerate it? No! So finally, as I've said at various rallies the last few years, I've been warning about this coming for years. We need to be smart. We can't jump on. Sadly, and I stand with Gaza, I stand with Palestine. Sadly, we can't stop the bombs. Let's be realistic. But you know what we can do? We can not comply with the madness. And when the time comes, when they're going to try and draft your children. Anyone got children of that age here? I've got a 17 year old son. They are going to try, they're going to bring it in in phases. They're already talking about it in all European countries. Senak has talked about it. Starmer has talked about it. This is what they want. They haven't got the numbers at the moment for a ground war. They haven't got it, so they're going to have to work to get it. And do you know how they're going to do it? They want you to hate people. They want you to have a common enemy to go to war so that you'll send your children to the battle line. Step back, tell your children, no, we don't have a common enemy. We are united. We're not going to war. Resist. Defy. Do not comply. Resist. Defy. Do not comply. Sorry, guys, I know the speaker's here. But the thing is about Parliament Square, where I'm told by police, is I have to ask permission to be here. I have to ask permission to have a speaker. I have to ask permission to gather with banners and boards. I've not done that. I refuse to write to the council and GLA. So I'm sorry the sound equipment is shit, but they would just seize it anyway. So we're just doing the best with what we've got and no funds. But can you hear this better than you could the speaker, yeah? Right? I don't know if anyone's got the energy to go on a little march or if you want to, but we might do that. Or do, would you rather stay here? I, I want to do what you guys want to do. You stay here and make some noise, and then we'll see you, you know, if it builds up and how you're feeling in a bit. I really am grateful that you're here. 
I know it's a, it's a weekday, it's a Wednesday, but in that building right now, Keir Starmer is being asked questions that are presented to him days before and then his answers are scripted for him. So it's not like he's talking any sense in there today. It's going to be all bollocks anyway, like it usually is. That man is not our leader. And the reason we're here is to demonstrate that we still believe, as we have done since 2020 and probably before, that the people have more power than the people in power. And they want us to believe otherwise. And we refuse to let them lead us. We refuse to bow down to his dictatorship. He's doing the job of the World Economic Forum. We know where he wants to take us and we know he wants us divided. So just being here present today, I'm truly grateful for. I hope you guys actually have a really good day. So when we're chanting, make some noise because the other thing they don't want us to do, and I don't know if I'm going to be arrested for saying it, <laughs> is actually causing any kind of disturbance. So when we're chanting, guys, we really need you guys to also make some noise. Otherwise, what's the point? So if we're chanting, can we give it a little bit of a whirl? Right? Just repeat after me. Together, united, we'll never be divided. Together, united, we'll never be divided. Together, united, we'll never be divided. Together, united. We'll never be divided. Together, united, 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 we'll never be divided. I'm going to give Alan Miller the microphone. You're right with that. I bet, are you? Send it to him. Send it to him.